To add the finishing touches to our blog, we want to edit the default templates that come with Perch to add in the markup that we want to use to show our posts. As with anything in Perch, the output HTML is completely down to you. Now when you install an app, there are some default templates that come with that app. And you'll find those in Perch Blog, Templates, Blog. And they're the default templates. Don't edit these templates. Because if you edit these, when you update the app, they're going to be overwritten. You don't want to do that. So what we do is we copy that blog folder and then come out of the app and go into Perch Templates. And here you can see this is your content folder for content templates. We're going to add that blog folder right alongside. So now what you've got is a copy of our default templates. What will happen is that Perch will look in your folder first to find a template of, of, of whatever name is passed in or for the default ones that we use. If it doesn't find one, it will then use the default template that ships with the app. So this means you can overwrite what's in our templates, or you can create your own templates to pass in with Perch Blog Custom. It's up to you. So in working with any of our official apps, this is exactly the same. Copy the templates out of the app folder, and that means you won't have any problems when you upgrade later. Something else that's worth understanding is that every one of the official apps has this concept of a master template. And this is a template in which all of the fields that you want to be able to output, either on that main template or another template, they all need to be there. And this typically would be kind of the detail page template is the one that's the master template. And we say in the docs which template you should use. So for blog, that's post.html. So post.html not only includes all of the markup, for your blog post, it also includes all of the fields. So you can see here is that post title field. And you can see the date, see things about the author and so on. All of that stuff is there in the template. So if you want to edit how your template displays, we can now edit this post HTML and make any changes that you want. So now I'm going to start changing this so that it works for our blog. Now I need to have a div with a class of post in our blog. Because of the CSS that we're using. So I'm just changing this to to match the markup that I've got quickly so that we can start to see the changes that I've made. Then we've got our H1. Then below that, I want the information about when it was posted just directly there. So we've got this here, this time, date, time. I'll take that and I'm going to pop that underneath here. And then we've got the uh, author information here. So I want to change that so it matches my markup. So it says, if it's just author given name. Now I want to have a class of byline around this information. So, so I'm just adding that markup there. And you can see that they're inside perch if tags in case that doesn't exist. You don't end up with bits of empty markup. You don't want to have sort of by appearing on the page with no author name, for example. Uh, so that's great. So we've done that. And then what else have we got? Oh, I've got an excerpt. Now, in the default templates, the excerpt isn't displayed on the main post page. It's down here and it's got this suppress equals true. Now this is what you do if you want to create a field in your master template and you don't want to output it onto the main page. You can add this suppress equals true and then what happens is your admin gets a field to fill in but when that post is output that field doesn't show up and then you can reuse that in a different template. Now actually in my case I'd like to use the excerpt as kind of the intro to the post. So I'm going to take that from there. 
and underneath the uh, byline here so div class equals So you can see here how even where you need to add quite a lot of markup, perhaps using a framework that needs quite a bit of markup, you can just add all of that into the template exactly as you want it, exactly as you want to display it. And I've removed that press equals true because I would like this to now output. And I'm going to move the content up here. And I'm actually not using an image on my blog, so I can remove that. It saves the content editor having to fill in those images. And then I'm going to take the categories. And I'm going to place the categories underneath the markup because I'm actually not going to output these here. If you remember we're using functions to display our categories but I need to have this information in my template because I need the content editor to complete the categories. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that suppress equals true here. So the categories will be output with the special function rather than with this tag here. You can see here what I'm doing is I've got perch categories because we're using the categories app although we're in the blog and we're using that blog set that we saw when we first started adding content and we're giving it a label, we're saying display as checkboxes and now we're hiding it so it's not output on the template but it will still show up in admin and you can see here we've got the URL to click through and have a look at that category and the title so that's what's happening here so if we save that and if we go and have a look at one of our posts you can see this is starting to take shape now uh, we can see we've got the intro there output and if we go down we've got our categories as output by that categories template but we don't have a duplication of that because we've used the suppress equals true to make sure that that doesn't output onto the page. Now anything else you can see on the page it also has a default template and things like our listing items they have a default template and you can find all of these in the default templates that you've copied over. So for example, we've got a template for comments. And this is just like any other repeating content in Perch. You can see we've got a before and after. And then inside is the repeating comment part. And the listing, we use post in list and that's here. And you can see that that's then got and again a load of markup in there which you can change. And once again if you want to use anything specific in here, you want a different image size, you want the content editor to add some special content to only show on the listing, make sure it goes into your master template, set it to suppressed and then add the field just as it is in the master template into the sort of sub template. And that's really how everything works in any of the Perch official apps. You have this master template, it needs to have all the fields in because that defines the schema for editing. And then you have your different templates for actually displaying that content in all kinds of different ways.